minutes gone. Oh, just doing a bit of a workout in the shed. Tell you what, last couple of weeks, I've been on holidays, been hanging out with my brother, oh, eating a lot of food off the Weber, oh, drinking too many soft drinks, eating too much chocolate and cakes. Oh, tell you what. Anyway, so yeah, I thought I'd do a bit of a workout and uh, work on the old belly. But you know what? I'm sure there's something else I'd rather be doing. I wonder what it is. Hmm. Hmm. Is it trimming the trees and the plants? Oh, I don't know about that. You know what? Nah. Hmm. I wonder what else I could do. Maybe, maybe it's weeding the strawberry patch. Hmm, let's see. Nah, that's not really what I want to do. Hang on, I know what I can do. G'day guys, how's it going? Trev here again. Uh, today, I've decided because the last couple of weeks we've had a stack of rain and all sorts of things going on at home so I haven't had a chance to go for a ride. So today I'm taking you guys, well we're heading through a little town called Yungaburra which is about, I don't know, about 16, 17 k's from my place in Tolga. This is a beautiful little town. I'm going to make a whole separate video with Elise um, about about this town lots of bikies come here there's the uh, if you look over over there yeah you can see all the bikes um, yeah so anyway Elise and I will come and make a video about Yungaburra probably next week but today we're gonna go through Yungaburra and we're gonna head on out to another volcanic lake by the name of Lake Berene the last volcanic lake video I did was Lake Eacham and Lake Eacham's up just up in front of us up here and you keep going past it for another five or six k's to Lake Berene check out this countryside eh how beautiful is this I know I'm a bit biased, but I reckon this is probably one of the most beautiful places in the world to live. Especially if you like getting around on two wheels. <laughs> Check out that Bougainvillea. How nice is that? So yeah, 300, k, 300 meters up here on the right is the turn off to Lake Eacham, which I took you guys to the other day. And yeah, by the other day, I mean whew, maybe three weeks ago now. Gillies Range Roadhouse. Yep. So anyway, we'll keep going, do that extra five k's, and we'll get to Lake Marine. One thing you do have to get used to living in North Queensland, Australia is, is the roads are pretty horrible. They're getting, they've been getting better over the last few years, but this is such a large area in North Queensland and not, the population isn't so dense, so I guess they just don't have the funds keep the roads as nice as they are down south. I love how a lot of the places where I ride around up here, you're, you're, you're cutting through rainforest. So 
so you just get this beautiful chilled air that you're riding through even though it's a pretty warm day all right this turn off up here on the right is lake perrine If I was to continue straight now I'd be on the Gillies Range which I took you guys on the Gillies Range ride a couple of weeks ago all right how nice is this this is all rainforest so uh, Lake Boreen is the same as Lake Eacham it's a volcanic crater lake it's its average depth is 65 meters and it's about four and a half kilometers the um, around the edge of the around the lake um, if you if you go along the walking track it takes me at a brisk walk about 56 minutes I think it was the last time I walked around and you're going up and down hill so it's a really nice workout it's awesome Coach parking only past this point. Oh, that's no good. Ah, there's a motorbike down there. I'm going down there. Do, 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 do. Here we are. We're uh, walking into Lake Green walking tracks, and uh, in here it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's nice and cool, calm. Uh, walking through the rainforest, and just up here, I want to show you guys the uh, carry pines, which are these huge trees that. Are old as old can be. I don't know how old they are. I'll have a look on the sign. It'll tell me. <laughs> All right. Well, it doesn't say how old they are. But anyway, have a look at this. Have a look at that. That is one big tree. This one here, looking up, 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 up. Holy moly! Look how big they are. Okay, let's go for a bit of a walk. Have a look around. So yeah, this track that goes around um, Lake Vereen, I used to come around here all the time, 20 years ago. And um, it used to be just this gnarly little track with tree roots growing through it and, and washouts and ruts. It used to be good fun. I used to jog around here and jump over the roots and stuff. I think you're in like a bit of a boot camp. Alright, let's shoot straight forward for a bit. Have a look around. So yeah, getting back to my story, I used to come out here and jog around, it was great fun. And um, maybe, I don't know, 10, 12, 13 years ago, they upgraded all these tracks, um, put in bridges like I'm walking on now, and um, just made it really nice for somewhere to go for a walk. Anyway, I could go on and on but we'd end up walking right around um, yeah so how cool is that that's just another place you can visit up here on the uh, tablelands start a good bit 
Okay, all right, so we've had a quick look around on the walking track and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the Lake Breen Tea House, I think they call it. And you can go there and you can have um, you can have tea and coffee and scones or scones as the pommies call it. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can sit down and have a look around. I'm sure they got stuff in the tourist shop you can buy, take back home. And uh, all right, I'll cut to that. Okay, so when you're done walking through the uh, rainforest tracks, then you walk back out the other side. Well, the original side we came through. And uh, I'll show you the lake. And that is Lake Breen. There's people in the water right there doing scuba diving. <laughs> if we walk over here. How you going, buddy? That's the tea house. That's the tea house right there. Where you have your tea and your scones and your. Uh, all that stuff and if you're keen you can go for a ride on a boat I'll show you the boat so this is below the tea house but if you look here it's the rainforest and wildlife cruises These are the boats that you go on your cruises with around the lake. I'll tell you it's a funny story. Um, I used to walk around Lake Breen, Lake Eacham, you know, pretty much every day. I used to come out here, go for a walk around. It was great fun. And um, it was really a warm time of the year. And um, I, I um, come up on a on this red belly black snake, and I thought, oh yeah, look out for him. So I took a step back, and I just waited for him to move, and that was cool. And I kept going, walking around. Then I come up on another one, and another one, and another one. <laughs> anyway, I saw four of these buggers, and uh, a few weeks later, I. Um, come for a ride on one of these boats and I said to the tour guide who was telling us all about it I said mate what would happen if I get bit by one of these red belly blacks and he looked at me real funny and he goes you'd probably be dead mate <laughs> so anyway um, when you're walking around here be careful for the snakes so upstairs there that's where the tea and coffee lounge is Take us for a bit of a look around over here. Let's see if we can see these fish. All right, can you guys see those fish? Yeah. How cool is that? There's one that's actually sitting on the boat, on the boat ramp thingy. They got the ducks out there. Oh, someone's lucky enough to use paddle boats here. Another big pan of the lake. How nice is that? So guys, if you decide you're coming through past my neck of the woods and you want to see somewhere nice, drop into Lake Barine. It's a beauty. Okay, just going to show you guys 
inside inside the restaurant real quick before I sign off. Here's where you come to have a feed. Check this out. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Coming down here. Gonna make my way back to the bike. Head back on home. Okay, guys, that's Lake Green. It's pretty nice here. If you want to come and have a swim, or a hike, or a feed, or hang out with your friends, or even have some quiet time on your own when you go in the bush there. And uh, alrighty, one more little look around behind me. Okay guys, that's the end of today's video and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.